but um, nice to meet you. Uh, we're from Montreal. Oh, but you're living here long. What's your name? Sorry. My name is Chandra. Okay. We just, I'm originally from here, but just moved back in July. Oh, great. My, my husband's military and uh, retired. So okay. Came back here to live. How did you find this house? It's my grandmother's house. Oh, ah, okay. So we're renovating it. And what uh, what did your folks do when you were here? Uh, my dad carpentry. Okay. My mom mostly on whatever came up with. At one time it was codfish. Okay. And then uh, crab. Now it's mostly crab. So it's, whether it was working in the plant when that was operating or just unloading it when it came in after the plant closed. Okay, so there was a, a processing plant here at some point, was yes. there? Okay, how big a plant would that be? Uh, it's still there, actually. It's not huge, but okay. it, it worked. It took care of all the crab from here. And then um, if you guys came later, it, there's way more happening. Because okay. once the crab season opened, there's a few... Quite a few fishermen from the coast that'll come here to fish as well. Oh, I see. So, uh, yeah. So they're Is it just because the water's really good here? It's because of the way the zones are split up for the crab, I guess, okay. inside of here. So it's an administrative it. thing more than anything yeah. else. Yeah. And um, I guess you've only been here a year, so you wouldn't have, have noticed sort of the day the road opened. Were you already here? Yes, we were. Okay. And what was that like? Very exciting. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, very exciting. Because um, it was blocked even when the road was completed physically mm -hmm. we, we weren't allowed to use it because they were still working on it right okay so until it was officially open it was a kind of a process to find out when it was open to get through like our our vehicles were parked on the other side oh okay when we moved back oh uh, i see yeah because we came back in june uh no actually we came the end of june but got here the first of july i had to leave our vehicles there until the road opened and uh, towards the end of september and then was there a big party Pretty much, yes. Did, okay. <laughs> did, did many people come from the other side that weren't yeah, we from Tigana? From Natashkwan, yeah. Yeah, they, they were the ones who had the celebration, Attic. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, most, mostly the, the natives that were... Uh, oh, yeah. ...and everything. So they had the celebration right at, beside the bridge. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, with a big tent and everything and invited us all there. So we kind of met and did a ribbon cutting to kind of join us together. And oh, that's great. Yeah, it was really neat. Do, do, you, do you have a lot of contact with the native communities here? Do people socialize? Yes. Yeah, okay. on uh, both sides, because there's a native community in La Romaine, oh, right. and then the one in Point Grand. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And in La Romaine, do they speak more English or French? Uh, mostly French. There's okay. quite a few English now because of Davis Inlet. That's where they moved a lot of them, yeah. and they were English. Because so. uh, some of you in um, Equanichit, in, uh, close to Megan, they uh, spoke to me in English. Yeah. Cause, and it was harder for him to speak French, so... Yes. Like, yeah, there's yeah. a lot more like that. It wasn't like that when I was yeah. living home first, but now, yeah. So I, I didn't realize Davis Inlet was an Innu community, was it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's further up the coast in Labrador? Yeah. Mm -hmm. up in Labrador. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Did you have other questions you wanted me to... Would you like to add anything uh, regarding Kegaska? Something that we should know, or that's something that we shouldn't do, or something that we should be aware of? Uh, apart your uh, maybe your dog or <laughs> <laughs> yeah. dogs. Well, you know, to run out and be free because we don't have much traffic, and then there's a bus coming. Through. Oh, I know. Yeah, <laughs> killed by the only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only bus. Uh, no, I just think it's great that you guys come to visit. Yeah. To us, it's like. Um, we're learning a lot about tourism because we live here, we know it, we, I guess, take it for granted. Mm -hmm. So when you guys visit, even the questions you have, we're like, it's it's every day for us. It's true, eh? you can learn so, from somebody else's questions. Yeah. yeah it yeah. makes you uh, think about who you are mm -hmm. and uh, what yes. you do. and yes. uh, Even a simple question, it, it's our everyday life and it's mm -hmm. like, wow, you know, we have that and don't even know it. Kind of yeah, thing. we think it's just like a simple thing, but uh, it, it's really impressive for... Yeah. For people from like Montreal, or yes. even even the snow, you know, I told my son that the other day in school in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. So the snow, it's it's beautiful, even though the roads are cleared, it's all white. It's you know, so beautiful. In the city, it's there's dirt and oh, salt. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's true. Right? With it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Can you tell us your name again? Chandra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Lovely meeting you. <laughs> oh no, that's great. Thanks very much. No problem at all. Awesome. I'm gonna try and have a little.